This game is called Penny Nickel Dime. All you're gonna need is a die, and if you want real money, you can get some real money or a pin, and I'll show you both ways. You'll notice over here, I have some candy. I'll explain why I have candy. So this is my game board. I took two pieces of paper and I love duct tape. So in my house, I had duct tape. So I just duct tape it together. You could glue it together. You could set paper side by side. You could use one of those brown paper bags you get at the grocery store and open it up and create a game board. You could go outside on the sidewalk and chalk this up and play outside. Lots of ways. So the goal of this game is to roll the die seven times trying to equal one dollar or 100 cents without going over every time you roll the die you have to either choose dimes nickels or pennies you can't have a variety only one per roll now my candies this is my reward for when i'm done over here i have seven candies this is so i can keep track of my seven rolls and so I can have some a treat when I'm done with my math. So here I go. I'm gonna use real money today. Now I found my money. I found some in my car. I found some in my couch. I found some in the laundry room that falls out of people's pockets. That was a super big score for me. You do not have to have real money. I'll show you in a moment how to play without real money. But if you like to play with money like I do, I found money. Okay. So let's get going. I'm gonna roll my dice. I rolled a two. I think I want two dimes. All right, one roll done. <clears throat> a four. I'm gonna take four nickels. All right, next roll done. Ooh, a six. How about six pennies? One, two, three, four. Five and six pennies. Another roll done. Ooh, a four. How about four more nickels? One, two, three, four. Another roll done. I have three rolls left. Ooh, a six. I want six more pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm down to two more rolls. I wonder how I'm doing here. Some people keep track as they go. I like to estimate as I go. I want one dime. All right, here I go. Last roll. A five. I think I want five more nickels. One, two, three, four, and five. And that was my last roll. Now, I like my game board. I want to keep it nice and clean. So I'm just going to grab a piece of paper. I have a little notebook here. And I'm going to add up my money. I'm going to start with my biggest coins first, which are my dimes, which I know are worth 10 cents. So I'm going to count by tens. So here they are, 10, 20, 30. So, so far I have 30 cents. Now my next biggest coin is my nickels and I know they're worth five cents. So now I'm going to count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I have 65 cents in nickels. Holy moly, I did not realize that. That's a lot. Now, before I add in my pennies, I want to just add this up. So I'm going to add my ones together. So five plus zero is five. Then I'm going to add my tens together. Six tens plus three tens gives me nine tens. So I have 95 cents so far. But now I have to add in these pennies. Oh my goodness. Well, let's see. I have six plus six, and I know my doubles. So six plus six is 12. So I have 12 more cents. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add my ones together. Five plus two is seven ones. And then my tens together. Nine tens plus one 10 gives me 10 tens. I have 107 cents or a dollar seven. Doggone it, I went over a dollar. Your goal is to get as close to a dollar without going over. No big deal, I'm gonna try that again. But this time, I'm just gonna show you how you could play if you don't have real money. There's a couple of ways. Let's say I rolled a two and I wanna take dimes. I could just say one, two, there's my two dimes. If you don't like that, you could draw them. One, two, here's a dime, here's a dime. 
Personally, that's my favorite way to play without money. Ooh, let's say I want two nickels. There we go, there's my two nickels. Ooh, I want pennies. So you could just draw out pennies, nickels, and dimes that way. Now you could also really make yourself have a challenge in this game. You could add some quarters as a category or a column. So maybe you did quarters, nickels, and nickels and dimes, or add pennies. What if you rolled with your penny, nickel, and dime eight times? What if you rolled five times? There's lots of different options and ways to challenge yourself and change it up. I'm excited to hear what you do, how you like this game. So keep up the great math, everyone.